In today's adventure, I'm going to show you how I temporarily fixed my XFX RX 580 GPU 8 gig. Um, as you can see, the issue is it will intermittently stop and spin and stop and spin. I do know it's not the GPU riser. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and see if we can't get it back up and running normal. Let's jump in. precision screwdriver set, uh, a duster can or a can of compressed air, some rubbing alcohol, uh, some cotton swabs, paper towels, and some CLP lubricant. So as you can see, once one fan spins pretty freely and the other one does not spin very freely at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the three screws uh, that are holding the fan. Some models I believe may have four screws, but this one only has three screws. So very carefully, uh, and I do recommend having a uh, precision screwdriver set that is magnetized it makes it really easy while taking some of these super tiny screws out if the screw sticks to the end of your tool so as we get this last screw out we're gonna see if we can't manipulate this fan um, so right now what I'm trying to do is see if I can't pop the back part off of the fan uh, or split the fan without breaking it. This is a, this is a very gentle process because uh, I don't want to break any of the fan blades. So I'm just trying to pop open uh, the back plate if you will. So I do want to, I already mentioned this in the intro, but I do want to take this time to mention this again. What I'm doing is a quick and temporary fix. In all honesty, this fan blade, uh, the bearing on the inside is worn out and it, it just needs a couple new set of fan blades on it. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to see if I can't get some more use out of these, um, get some more ROI on my mining rig here. Um, because I did buy these at a, at, a, at a higher price than what I would have wanted to. So I don't want to put more money into fixing it before I get a good ROI going. So all I'm going to do is, um, first I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, but right in that little bearing, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of CLP in it. Now CLP is typically used... Uh, really for, for a wide range of machinery um, and different machine parts but CLP stands for clean lubricate and protect um, so it's kind of like WD-40 on steroids I use it on a wide range of stuff uh, it's a really good product just to have on standby if you need it so since I have this opportunity uh, or have this fan out I don't really take the fans out unless something is wrong with it so while I got this opportunity I'm just gonna wipe off the back of the fan um, clean off a little bit of extra dust because these things do get pretty dirty while they're in there mining I don't have any duster but this is where you could use some duster uh, and really blow out all the dust and th this card hasn't been in there very long um, this card has only been in there Maybe two to three months, not super long, it hasn't been in there a long time. 
But like I said, if you have duster or a can of compressed air, uh, it would be a lot easier and a lot quicker to spray the dust out than do what I'm doing. And truth be told, I'm actually just getting the dust off of the top of the heat sink here. Um, and maybe a little dust that's down in the crevices. Uh, if I had a toothbrush or some type of small bristled brush that I could get in there, uh, it would actually be a little bit better. But at the end of the day, it's not super, super dirty. I mean, it does have a little dust on it because it's been in there mining for a couple months. But um, I just want to prolong the next time that I have to clean it. So while I can get to the back of the fan, I'm going to wipe out some of these little crevices that are known to accumulate a little bit more dust. Um, and like I said, most of the time I don't get the access to clean the back of the fan. Um, to wipe off the front, the front of the fan is pretty easy, uh, but to get to the back of the fan like I am now, don't really get that opportunity very often. So while I'm sitting here, I might as well just go ahead and wipe it off. So we're going to finish getting this cleaned up and wiped off here in the little tiny crevices and then we're going to move on to putting the CLP into the uh, center bearing or the, what the fan spins on. So when we get to adding the CLP, I am only going to put a couple drops. Um, I'm not going to spray it like, like you would spray to lubricate something uh, as you can see we have a microchip board there um, that I assume has something to do with controlling the fan speed and and telling the GPU how fast it's spinning and all that good stuff so we're, we're just gonna add a couple little drops right and then we're gonna pop the fan uh, or the back plate back on and then spin it around a little bit and work in that CLP. Because this, this feels much better. So now we're gonna flip it back over. And you can see how much better it spins now. And it's not even locked in place. So now that we have the back plate locked back in, uh, just gonna reattach the screws. So all I'm doing right now is just trying to line up the uh, back bracket. Uh, to the screw holes, the, the bracket that holds the fan in that's attached to the back plate that we snapped on. First, I was thinking I'm I was putting it in wrong, but I'm not putting it in wrong because there's really only one way to put it in. No other way it'll go in. So when I'm reinstalling the fan and I'm putting the screws in, um, I'm just getting all of the screws started and then I'm going to go back and snug up the screws later after I get all the screws in. So now that we have all three screws in, I'm going to go back around, give the other ones a little turn, make sure they're nice and snug. So, look how much better it spins, just with a little CLP. It's not, it's not good as new, but it's pretty close. So let's get this cleaned up a little bit more maybe wipe the other one off a little bit dip it in a little rubbing alcohol wipe off the outside and then we're gonna prep this and 
put it back in the case and see what happens. See if it fires up and spins normal again. I'm thinking that the bearing in the fan is either worn out or the uh, lubricant that comes inside the bearing um, got hot over time and dried up or has you know just stop lubricating um, so I'm hoping that adding a little lubricant will revive it a little bit and bring this bad boy back to life so now I'm just gonna see if I can't clean a little bit of the dust uh, from the other side I thought about taking the other side out um, and cleaning that fan the same as I did the other but you know like I said earlier these aren't super dirty um, I just while I had it out figured I would at least wipe everything down um, so that way I'm not putting a, a dirty card back in the case it's just something I do if I have to take a card out I like to clean it off wipe it down I don't know, give it a bath kind of kind of deal and then put him put it back in bed. So see that both of them spin good. Now let's put it in the case. So now that we have added some lubricant uh, into the bearing of the fan, we're gonna put it back in the case and see if we can't get it to power up and spin normally. Uh, as before, it would spin and stop every couple seconds. Now you can see it's spinning smooth and spinning good. So, if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.